This is the latest way to travel, round the gut that is. It's been dubbed the super pill. It's a camera that you swallow. This tiny camera can shine a light on places never seen before. On the way it can pick up anything untoward, including the first signs of tumors far inside the bowel where it can normally be very difficult to detect. Bowel cancer is the second biggest cancer killer in the industrialized world. Only lung cancer kills more. In the UK alone, the death toll is 300 a week, equivalent to a bus full of people dying every day. David Minns is one of the survivors. Today he enjoys a round of golf at his local course, but he was lucky. His tumor was in a part of his bowel where it could be easily detected. Having had the endoscopy, I, the, the, the surgeon was able to diagnose the growth as malignant and um, said that he would have to um, use surgery to remove the, the growth. And um, he removed 18 inches of my colon. That was 18 months ago. David Minns is alive because his cancer was caught early. To do that, doctors need to be able to see inside the gut. This is the conventional device for doing so. It's called an endoscope. It's a flexible rod, a sort of bendy telescope, which is pushed into the body. The longest endoscopes are two meters long. That might sound quite long enough, but the average gut is eight meters long, and that leaves a lot of gut that endoscopes can't reach. That's where the super pill comes in. Developed in Israel, it's undergoing trials in New York and in London. This is a very sensitive camera which uses very little power. Most cameras, like the one that you're using to film here, uses what's called CCDs or charge couple devices. And this is quite power hungry. And the advantage for the one that we're using is that it uses about a hundredth of the power level, so we can run it for a hundred times longer. I think there are three things about it. One is that it can reach parts that other endoscopes can't. We can examine now the whole of the small bowel, which we really weren't able to do before. The small intestine is a long tube that we haven't been able to reach. It's very wiggly and it's difficult to get to, so we can visualize that. The second thing is that it's painless. Once you've swallowed it, and I've swallowed a couple of these, you really don't know it's there, and painless endoscopy is new, and that's exciting. The third thing is that you don't need to be in hospital to have it done. You can swallow it and walk about, go to work with it. The pill has already proved its worth. Lawyer Howard Popper was one of the patients in the New York trial. He had a history of heavy bleeding from his bowel, but despite numerous endoscope examinations, his doctors were stumped. Dr. Lewis gave me an option. It wasn't much of an option at all, but his first choice was I could go immediately to exploratory surgery, at which point I said, time out, doctor. As far as I'm concerned, those are two words that should never be in the same sentence, exploratory and surgery. What's the second option? And the second option was this pill. And it literally took pictures of my entire insides. At which point, that test finally revealed the culprit, which was a um, tumor, which later turned out to be a carcinoid tumor, which is a cancerous tumor. It really was this particular capsule camera that found the tumor. Without that, it might have never been discovered. I feel lucky, I'm alive and I'm gonna live a long, healthy life that's not gonna be cut short because of this new technology. This is how it works. Okay, Lucy, well, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna attach the uh, uh, aerials like we discussed a little bit earlier. So, if I can just get you just to lift your jumper up just a little the bit. The exact off. position of the pill in its journey down the gut the is monitored by an array of sensors. Here, the system's being tested on a healthy volunteer. Now I might just get you just to sit on the side of the bed, just facing over that way. And we're just going to put the bell... The position of the pill and the pictures it's taking are transmitted to a recorder, so to worn on a belt around the patient's waist. OK, Lucy, now we're just going to plug the uh, aerials into the recorder. So this is the capsule that I'm going to ask you to swallow. The flashing is completely normal. That uh, is just so it's uh, illuminating the bowel inside so it can take pictures as it goes down. The pill is propelled through the body in the same way as food. And it needn't spoil your day. Patients can get on with their lives while the pill works its way through the body. It takes about eight hours to complete its journey. All the images are stored in the portable recorder. 
So all that remains at the end of the day is to retrieve the pictures. And the pill. It is, of course, reusable. In order to view the pictures, the eight-hour gut movie has to be downloaded into a computer. The doctor can then examine the images in detail. Another advantage is that it's much less invasive than conventional endoscopy. The very nature of ordinary bowel examinations puts many people off. It's very undignified for man, but it's the embarrassment that the embarrassment can kill you if you don't have it done. If there was a pill which you could take, which meant that you didn't have to go through the barium and enema, the endoscopy, and all this ev evasive investigation through the rectum into the bowel, then that I should imagine that that would save hundreds, thousands of lives. The super pill is just the start. On the way is a new generation of tiny robots, which will not only diagnose disease, but treat it from inside the body. The next generation will be able to move about like a mini submarine. It may not be long before a complete health check of everything inside you could be as simple as taking an aspirin.